Hello everyone, it's time again. This time, finally, I will show you the Apollo C. It's prime time. It all fits inside here. My coffee and the rest I will show you in a second. So, what's in the bag? My damper. Good old Commandante. A scale. And the Apollo C. Here it is. That's the base item where my modified AeroPress Go will fit inside. I'll show you how to do it. First we attach the legs, four of them. Apollo C, may I present? It has been now 11 months since my last video and I've been using this for 11 months roughly every day, uh, two to three espresso, all with this one modified Aeropress Go. That's probably 1000 espressi I made already with this and it's still working perfectly fine, no leaking. It consists of a cut Aeropress. I used now the Aeropress Go, the reason being that this is actually 15% thicker than the normal Aeropress. This is the standard uh, filter from the Aeropress where I made a hole and my IMS basket fits inside. On top, a uh, gasket from another coffee machine and it comes inside. I'll show you in a second. Then I have here my homemade distribution tool, a cork with five needles. I found five to work the best and they need to be a little bit spread. They should not be parallel. If they are parallel and you start stirring, sometimes kind of clumps get stuck in between the needles and you just move the clump around. Just some foam to keep the needles away from poking anyone. The Apollo C is just an, uh, a further development of my previous uh, video. You saw I had this aluminium table with long screws and I had the whole size Aeropress inside. I decided to cut the Aeropress a piece off so it's much more compact. And uh, what this does, it keeps the Aeropress inside and when I uh, introduce the pressure, different methods how to introduce as you know, the, the piston doesn't come out and the pressure makes the water go through through the uh, basket into the cup and that's how we make espresso right let's start grinding some coffee thai coffee from chang rai very good medium roast thai coffee 16 grams of coffee in and about 35 to 40 grams out 15.7 16 that's four clicks on my standard uh, Commandante, which would be eight clicks on uh, the red Excel Commandante. Let's go! Okay, the last bean is finished. So, wow! Oh. My basket, IMS precision basket for 14 to 18 grams. I put my 16 grams inside, which is a good amount. Mm. I can smell it already. Very evenly distributed. One kick or two. And let's damp it down. Okay. Next comes my screen. It's a AeroPress screen that you can use instead of a, of a paper filter. I cut it a little down so it fits inside. As you can see, it fits exactly inside. When I pour the water, it will not disturb in the pack. This comes inside. On top, the gasket. That's how it looks. Next, I just attach it to my AeroPress, like you would anyway. Screw it on. That's it. And to measure my water, I will put it on the scale. And I know exactly that 15 milliliters of water will remain in the pack. I have 16 grams of coffee. I want 40 gram output, which is a little bit more than double. 15 gram remains in the basket. 55 milliliters of water need to go inside. Cups. I got a small one and a glass one a little bigger, but maybe we use the glass one so we can all see what's happening. 
since my table is not even, I need to put something underneath to make it straight. I'm in the wild here a little bit, kind of straight. My mirror to see what's happening with my open basket. And the most important thing, how will I make the pressure? Since I want to be mobile and I don't get CO2 capsules here, I got this air pressure pump. It has a digital display, so you can see the pressure. You can set a pressure in bar or C ahead and it will stop at the set pressure and it goes up to 10 bar, which is perfect. I don't need that much. So I have it set to a maximum of 9.3 bar. So I will pre-pressure this now. Makes a little bit of noise. That's how it is. So this has some pre-pressure now. I will put in 55 gram, 55 milliliters or grams, which will give me an output of 40 milliliter uh, espresso. Fifty-five. Now it's getting interesting. Water is inside. Now I put the piston already a little bit inside. The coffee sits here, and the water sits on top of the coffee. So this fits exactly inside here. So now this is stuck and cannot go anywhere, right? I will attach this, and here we go. So once I open the valve, the pre-pressure will come in. Dunk. As you can see, it gets under pressure. Now already a little bit of coffee is coming, I'm waiting for the pre-infusion. I'll give it like 10 seconds pre-infusion roughly. And then I will start and go full on, which I will do now. Here comes the good sauce. I have no idea if I'm in focus or not. You will see at the end, we are done. And here I can release the pressure at the end to not make it endlessly foam. And this is what I call espresso. You want to see? Good espresso from an Apollo coming from the sky. <laughs> Let's see if it's good. Let's try. Mm, wow, actually <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> I didn't expect it. That's the best one actually I made with this so far, with this coffee. Well, I was lucky I guess. <laughs> My friends, Apollo C, I hope you like it and I will make a much longer video showing all the details. I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.